M, 1931, directed by Fritz Lang, starring Peter Lorre, Otto Wernick, and Gustav Grungens. A killer is stalking the streets and murdering children, and no one seems to be able to figure out who it is. Will the police find him before he kills again, or will the criminal underworld take matters into their own hands? This film was recommended by a fan. Thanks for the suggestion. I'm honestly not as familiar with the 30s as I am with other decades of sci-fi and horror. I haven't really seen that many outside of the films that I've featured on my channel over the years. That's one of the reasons I was thoroughly impressed with this film. It seems like German cinema was light years ahead of the competition initially. Whereas early Hollywood horror films such as Dracula and Frankenstein felt rough around the edges and like the byproducts of a gestating industry, the fluid and innovative camera work and editing in this film really demonstrated what could be achieved with the medium. Sci-fi and horror films have frequently served as commentary over the years. With this film, Lang tackled the debates people were having about the morality of the death penalty, especially with the possibility of rehabilitation through psychiatry. What's crazy is the killer isn't prominently featured in the first 50 minutes of the film, only appearing in a couple of brief scenes. The first act largely consists of the police and the criminal underworld both deliberating over what must be done. The killer is curiously absent. Peter Lorre is absolutely captivating in whatever language his character speaks in, though. He really shines as the troubled Hans Beckert in what was his first dramatic role after an early career in comedy. Peter Lorre's character isn't glamorized in any way either. Instead of being some sort of charismatic figure, he's an awkward man with an incredibly disturbing compulsion. One of the frequent problems I have with films from the 30s tends to be the lack of a traditional cinematic score, usually helping to enhance the experience. This film didn't have that problem. With deliberate silence enhancing the unnerving tension, and the killer's compulsion to whistle Hall of the Mountain King, alerting the viewer of the impending danger. Like the films I've reviewed by director John Brom, a good portion of this film is dedicated to the forensic work the police tried doing to catch the killer. Also like those films, the forensics are fascinating to watch in action. Verdict? Highly recommended. A compelling thriller with some... killer cinematography. That concludes this week's review. If there's any obscure sci-fi or horror film you'd like to suggest, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure to tune in next time for another thrilling low-budget adventure.